Learning House, your online education partner, presents a tutorial that will familiarize the instructor with the text editor or the what you see is what you get editor within Moodle. The text editor option in Moodle appears in many areas of your course and allows various options for creating and editing content. Let us take as an example the description field that can be accessed through the course view page when you click the update icon seen in the series of icons accompanying each of the titles of course sections and items. The description field comes with a complete text editor that allows you a range of text formatting options. The text that you type or insert into this field will appear precisely as you format them here in this screen. In other words, WYSIWYG, what you see is what you get. You might be familiar with such a text editor from other places such as web pages and wikis. To anyone familiar with a word processor, the text editor is self-explanatory. To others, the tools in the text editor need to be explained. In this lesson, we will only briefly introduce each of the tools. There will be further lessons to explain in detail some of the more complex features. There are many editing features available within the text editor that help change the appearance of the text you type in. These appear as tools in three rows at the top of the text area. In the top row, you have a set of three options, font family, font size, and paragraph. Select a font of your choice from the font family dropdown and set the size of the font by selecting an option from the font size dropdown. The paragraph dropdown allows you to determine the appearance of headings and subheadings. Next in the top row is a pair of curved arrowheads. The arrowhead pointing to the left is the undo button and the one pointing to the right is the redo button. The undo button cancels out the last action you performed. For example, if you delete a line or a paragraph and then change your mind about the deletion, you can click the undo button to have the deleted part reappear. The redo button repeats the last action. If you, for example, italicize a word and wish to italicize several other words, then click on any of them and use the redo button. Repetition of the last action, in this case italicization, will italicize the clicked word. Next to the Find and Replace tools that help you search for a word or string of words in the text you have inserted. You may work from a full screen mode by clicking the Toggle Full Screen Mode button. It is a toggle button and hence clicking it again will take you back to the partial screen mode. In the second row, the first set of tools allows you to bold, italicize, or underline selected text. The next two icons with the capital X help you set selected text as subscript or superscript. The next set of tools with the image of horizontal parallel lines helps you justify text to the left, center, or right. Next is a pair of tools with the enter symbol. They are called direction left to right and direction right to left. The default setting, which is left to right, allows the user to type from left to right. You may change it to right to left if it suits you. In the third row, you have at the very beginning two buttons that help you bullet or number selected items of a list. Using the next two icons, you can increase or decrease the indent in the line or paragraph where the cursor is placed. Adjacent to the indent icons are three tools whose buttons have images of chain links. They are Insert or Edit Link, Unlink, and Prevent Automatic Linking. All three give you control over hyperlinks you may want to insert in the text. In the next set of tools, you have in the left extreme one with a button displaying the image of a tree. This is the Insert Edit Image button. Clicking this button pops up a screen that allows you to add an image to the text. You have various options in the pop-up that allow you to determine the position and appearance of the image. Next to the Insert Edit Image button is the Moodle Media button. Click the Moodle Media button to upload a video or audio clip. The button with the image of a crossed out arrowhead is the Insert Non-Breaking Space Character button. Use the button on any two consecutive words that you want to always appear in the same line. Thus, two words with a non-breaking space character between them are essentially treated as one. The button with the alpha symbol is the Select Custom Character button. On clicking this button, a pop-up appears with a table of various characters not found in the regular English alphabet. 
These include, among others, all accented characters and Greek and Roman symbols commonly used in various languages. The button with the image of a grid is the Insert a Table button. As the name suggests, you would use it to insert a table. On clicking this button, a pop-up appears where you can style the appearance of the table you want to insert. Click the button that says HTML to access the HTML source editor behind the software and edit the code. The button with a check mark on the letters A, B, and C is the spell check tool. Click the button and choose a language from the drop down to have the spell checker spot spelling errors in the text. And that concludes this lesson.